thank you for joining me again. I have decided to stick to my guns and um, follow Wendy's example. Uh, Wendy has a, a YouTube channel called Wendy's uh, Journal Creations, and she talked about getting back to her art journaling, uh, taking a little time off from junk journaling, and making a journals. And uh, when she did when she did hers, I thought to myself, yes. I need to do something like that too. Um, I haven't had a paintbrush in my hand in ages, and um, uh, so I decided to take the plunge today. Uh, I used a regular Bic pencil and the uh, Pit Artist um, Pen F to do this sketch. I did it. Uh, I did it this morning as the uh, the basis the basis of uh, this spread uh, I like to uh, use uh, a combination of um, watercolor and uh, collaging on my uh, on my spreads and uh, as you can see uh, it was something that I did a lot of but then uh, the uh, junk journaling struck, and so here we go. Mm. I uh, I do hope I have uh, remembered how. I have my water, I have my Friday treat, uh, my chai from Starbucks. I have my um, brushes, and since this is rather small, I've chosen my um, silver black velvet number two and number four. Uh, I might, of, so of course, add to that. I have sprayed, this is Schmenke, um, Schmenke watercolors. I, uh, Schmenke, uh, I have sprayed them. They're ready to go. And uh, I'm going to declare myself ready to go too. So I'm going to lay on the... Um, the flower, uh, the flower background first. Um, I really haven't, ha don't have much of a plan, but I'm thinking um, I might use some uh, matter uh, as uh, matter rose dark, and let's just uh, let's just go here and mix in a little bit of what's in the. Um, uh, What's already in the palette? Why not? Okay, plenty of water because this is just going to be my uh, my undercoat. I'm going to cover this side, and uh, we're off. I'm going to uh, just lay on. I'm just going to lay on some. Uh, uh, an underpinning, and I remember now, it's been a while, as I said, since I've watercolored, that these uh, these brushes are thirsty. They do hold a, uh, a lot of water, and uh, this is really not uh, watercolor paper, but I've been using it throughout the book, so uh, I'm just going to be uh, very judicious in spreading out this uh, this background color. I'll make sure I dry between uh, between layers. All righty, there, and let's have a little bit in here. Now this is a uh, permanent marker, so there will be no trouble with this. It says in the fine print, and my Viva cotton paper towel here will um, will soak this up rather well <clears throat> and let's just put something down on uh, on these little buds this was so much fun I even forgot how much I enjoy uh, drawing and so 
This is just, I have no idea what's going to happen to the rest of this page, probably some collage to tell a collage story, but uh, right now I'm just putting some color on the page. And now, uh, I do believe we're going to have a little uh, background green there. And uh, let's see what I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose this one. It should give me very, very strong, but I shall water it down and just use it, here again, just use it as the, uh, as the undercoat for the stems and leaves. Those of you who uh, would like to do this, uh, same process, and say, oh, oh, watercolor, no, 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 watercolor is what you make it. And in this case, as you can see, at this point, I'm, this is one step above uh, coloring. And that's okay, because I'm going to add more, more layers to the top here. And the trick to this is uh, less is more water at this at this stage, and make sure that you dry between layers. That's the magic of watercolor. You can build up layer upon layer as long as the layer underneath is not. Um, is not wet. You really won't move that very much. And since this is a permanent pen, I can just uh, kind of do bombs away here. Do this one now. I could certainly have been be I could certainly be using a larger brush now, but uh, the lazy girl is out to play. So let's go and just require a few more strokes. There. Now. I'm particularly doing this because this is not uh, watercolor paper. I'm wanting to be sure. Now this is two pages glued together, so I won't have any trouble over there. But this, this could uh, do a little bit of its warping thing, and that's all right. So I will make sure that I dry the back also. Another absolute uh, secret to uh, drying watercolor, if you can. Dry the back also. Alrighty, now a little bit bigger brush. Maybe a number six this time.
And I'm covering this so that when I transfer, I don't uh, have any calamities. And if I do, that's okay too, because the next layer should be um, should be uh, collaging and whatever whatever takes me. I'm going to keep this handy, this Viva handy, because this is. Um, Get the dark up here underneath. Up here. Here. And here. Now, I'm going to come back and move that line a little bit by adding water down here. Give this darker shade a place to play. And up here. If I get any blooms, that's fine. That will be just fine. Now some really real statement of the dark under these uh, under these under petals under there and under here and let's bring it down a little bit Just going to do a little bit more with adding uh, darkness here. <clears throat> and here. And since this is a uh, it's a nice uh, brush for carrying color. I'm going to uh, I'm going to spread this out again, and then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, a little other colors in here, because uh, the beauty of watercolor is that you wanted to um, you do want it to have uh, a variety of uh, layers of uh, of color. And I'm going to move this one around a bit because this needs some darkness in there. here between these uh, these leaves on the bud and here and put a little water there for that uh, for that darker one to uh, move into Let's have a little bit of uh, let's add a little bit of color to the center of these buds and little flowers, flowerets.
and let's move that a little bit, adding a little water. Well, I'm glad my uh, chai has a cover on it because this brush would have been in it twice. Not good, but typical. Now let's decide, make a serious decision about adding a little bit more color to this, um, to these flowers. Let's see, what do we want there? I'm actually going to add a little, uh, Chrome orange. I'm going to add just a little bit of touch of that here and there to these leaves, petals, sorry. Just because I can and I want to. I like that combination very much. Put a little in that bud, a little bit down there. Alrighty, now let's uh, let's work on moving that a little. And we never worry about little things like that. move this down here a little bit. There we go. Right. So, you can see where we are thus far. Maybe just the tiniest bit of that in, uh, in some of these flowers that are more mature. These little babies. Not in all of them. Okay. Now, something, something needs to happen with these uh, stems and leaves. So, Let's have some let's have some addition of uh, color into these uh, into these leaves between the veins. Come back in with the water and bring it to the darker color to give it some place to go. And over here. Let's do this one by turning. It'll also give you a better opportunity to see what's happening. 
I wish that you could somehow see all of the palette. I'll move it for a few moments. I hope I don't have a problem. Oops, no, that's not going to do, is it? Because you can't see the, the art and the palette at the same time. Yes, you can. Right there. Okay. Now, we need some green in here. Oops, see what happens? So, what to do, what to do? Water. Water. Out. Out, cool spot. Here we go. Okay. Saved. Now let's get that dark in here. That's not dark enough. Let's get that in here, and here, and here, here, here. And water brought to it to give it some place to uh, move to. Water to that should let it go. Alrighty, but not too much. There. Now, much more areas of uh, darkness on these uh, on these stems where we have branches off. And just the tiniest touch of water here and there. And let's uh, let's do something with um, another shade of green totally. For these uh, vein areas, and of course, some here in in the stem. It's a yellow, yellow green bordering on olive. to do that over on the other page now and uh, I will get back when I have this much done over here. Well I'm adding color, adding color here and there and uh, pretty soon I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop because this is uh, this is not the uh, an exercise in the Sistine Chapel. This is fun time in an art journal, and it's very easy that way to uh, to declare to declare uh, arbitrarily. That uh, that's enough of this. I want to go on now to the next uh, to the next phase here. But a little bit of sunshine here and there is something that I'd like to uh, try to do because it does it does have an effect. Used a little. Um, I used a little bit of uh, yellow up here in the center. Now I'm going to darken the edges a little bit. Leave a little highlight of uh, highlight of white 
which would be the paper. And let's have a little bit of the uh, nice dark around the uh, around the edge of the flower here. lay them. They're, they're very wet. I'm going to uh, let nature work on them. And now I'm going to uh, see about adding some color to those flowers. So we used uh, the matter. I'm thinking I'm just going to go over here now with the uh, deep and not too much water. And see about uh, perking up the uh, perking up the edge of these puppies. There we go. There we go. And while we're at it, we'll go over here. Put some over here, and get back to spreading this out, letting it move a little bit, letting this move. Let's come in a little bit here, put some here, and there. And then I have to darken up the dark places, and I'll be declaring myself played out. Of course, they do look kind of like flowers. And the only way that they're going to uh, be uh, delineated from each other is if I really um, do some uh, some darkness. So Little violet down here. Let's have a little violet in that red to really darken it up. And then go back to add some more red to it. And here we go. some more around here and a little bit more hiding in there let's just move this now but not too much And I've lost a little of our of our orange, so back it goes. Because I'm quite determined to have more of it here. And more 
of it here. <coughs> the points on the the points on these brushes are just heavenly. We're doing little bits like this. Now, I'm starting to think that I'm going to leave those alone <coughs> because they do say flower. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a little bit more something something on those leaves. So I'm going to put the something something in and around the veins. Here. Here. And a little bit around top there. And now I'm starting to uh, piddle and I want to stop so I'm going to and I'm going to look for uh, collage to add to this uh, piece. Now, here is where I am, and here is where I'm going to stay. Of course, there's going to be a little call of the pen again. I'm feeling it. And I've never been one to give up. When I feel the urge to add some pen, it becomes overwhelming. I'm going to move these, uh, these watercolors so that they can dry. I wouldn't want to close that tin and have them uh, decide to get moldy on me because they're uh, they're very nice quality uh, watercolors and I'm not uh, interested in looking at mold when I open the box. So, well, this needs doings. It certainly does. Hmm. <laughs> It certainly does. And I think the doings 
going to be with a large brush around this and then I can add my collage. That's what I'm going to do. And of course, I'm going to get out my very favorite background color. Well, as you can see, my Mission Gold, yellow gray, is just putting a little bit of background behind this watercolor. It will probably be all covered up, but you and I will know that it's there. And I'm not making a uh, a biggie out of this because that would uh, put me off what I'm trying to do, which is uh, just get around these flowers a little bit. Let the water work. Not too much, not too much. And when you spread out the, as you can see, when you spread out the water, it, uh, you can spread it out until it uh, spreads so far that it dries into the, uh, there is none left to be spread. And this is a uh, Princeton Neptune number 10 which is another one which uh, will hold the water very nicely, probably right up to the end of this job. And we'll just move this all around up onto the paper. And it's starting to, uh, I just want to get the line out as much as I can, but not overly. There we go. something something behind there and I'm going to put uh, the watercolor things away and have a think about uh, what I'm going to add. I also put down a swatch as part of my uh, my art journal page uh, of all of the colors and that I used in the uh, in the watercolor. And, uh, the only thing I'm going to write there is the name of the the uh, watercolor, the Schmenke. I'm not going to uh, name each one individually, uh, as I had done on some previous ones. I'm just going to let that be part of the uh, part of the overall image. So, clean up and uh, back to be th to think about the uh, rest of this paper. Well, I knew that this was going to be lucky because this piece and this piece and this piece were in this basket right here at the top of my desk from the last project that I was working on. And everything else came out of my buddy. So, much more than I wanted here. But, decisions, decisions, actually found yellow-gray. If it matched that yellow-gray anymore, well, not to be talked about. So there's one. Definitely, definitely these two. Uh, some, a picture of needlework the needlework that I used to love. This came in um, in Happy Mail. It's got some of that uh, yellow gray on it. And so, that almost has to be. So there, this little bit of sorry, maybe, maybe not. This little piece of writing, maybe. 
Whoops. I knew it. <sighs> do you love robocalls as much as I do? Okay. This, because it's smallish. And seems to uh, speak to me for... Uh, a little bit of watercoloring that I uh, plopped down here. So, somewhere, somewhere. This was in my buddy, maybe. This was just used in a uh, Here to hold that down. Something heavy. Oh, heavy bottom glass. Yes, Carol. Now these are spreading out nicely. I just seem to want that. Why do I think that's a little... Well, I do. So maybes. This is a must. This is serendipitous, if ever. There we go. See if we can make this work a little bit. Let's just see. And our girl here. No. 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 And yes, we're going to put it there, and we're going to cover a little bit of the watercolor. That's okay, it's not precious. And... One, two, three. One, two, three-ish. Why not? Why not? Now, this is a lot of little ones, but it's fun, and I kind of like the, um, I kind of like where we are going here. I 
don't know why. I cannot make up my mind. But there's green, more green in that one. You come down a little bit. Busy, but I like it. And that's what it's about. So, I have a book block. I'm learning Gail Agostinelli. I'm learning. Um, I have my glue sticks. This. And now, let's start over here on these big pieces. I think that's kind of low, so let's do this one. And that's under here. And I'm really liking those, um, I'm really liking those watercolor bits. Oh my lord, when they say permanent, they're not kidding. Wowzers. Woo, woo. It's life. Immediately for life. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. One had better be decisive with Scotch permanent glue stick. But I can do decisive. Now, next, the kimono. I had uh, some friends in the uh, Needlepoint Guild who made the most magnificent uh, kimono needlepoint pieces and had them framed beautifully. Oh, they were just gorgeous. And then along came mixed media, and uh, two and a half, three years later came uh, junk journaling. So that's all a very fond memory. Happy that I have it, and I'm glad that it happened, but it happened for uh, probably the best part of uh, 35 to 40 years, so uh, let's move on, Carol. Ah, yes. Oh boy, this little permanent puppy is going to be perfect for this because it's uh, slightly embossed. Can I get it right there? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. go. And it is so old that uh, I can almost feel that break when I folded it. So this is wonderful. Okay, which is the bottom? Um, the piece of yellow-gray is the bottom. Magnet, as the children in my classes used to say. 
A magnet. Now that's under. So under it goes. Know that she goes over it. So, Oops, is the writing correct? Well, it's permanent. Quickly, Carol. There we go. I just moved somebody. Okay. She goes up here, and I believe this goes here. Yes. Yes, some room for uh, some room for journaling. But you never can tell because I still have that urge for that uh, for that pen. Yes, I do. Looks as though she knows something about me that she's not telling, which is probably good. I think the birdcage is going in the right direction. This little and this one. towards the green here. Yes. And yes. Oh, it's going to work. It is going to work. needs to be there. Not yellow gray, uh, warm gray, cold, cool gray. All right, and last but not least, I wonder, well, I don't think you'd better put this on something that's, uh, I wonder if you are even supposed to do this? Well, we're about to find out. Mm. We are about to find out. Necessary. Necessary. Oh my, my, isn't that cute, Carol? It's, of course the thread sticks to the glue stick that's permanent. I have done a very silly thing. Oh well.
Well, now I'm either in love with this permanent stuff or I'm not. I cannot figure out which is which, but I do know that I'm... Okay, I'm going to go, needless to say, and uh, wash my hands and have a think about that pen because it it's, continues to call me. Well, I used just the tiniest bit of hickory smoke around the edges and then I thought this would be a good day to try these brushes that uh, Mrs. Cog swears by for uh, putting very, very fine light uh, stenciling on pages. And are you able to see that? It is actually incredibly pretty. And you could never, 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 never get this with a... Uh, with anything else that I can think of. So thank you, Liz. Mrs. Cog, if you have, if you don't know her, make haste to her channel. It is wonderful. And these brushes can either be $75 for a set or on Amazon, they can be uh, more like 10 or 12 for a whole bunch of them. I'm going to hold this up so that you can see that I, because I've not used this before, this is a perfect opportunity for uh, art growth. beautifully mild. I have to really look for it. Isn't that wonderful? All right. Let me show you. All right. Journal right over that with no problem. Oh. When an expert tells you something, listening is so good. And on top of it, the brushes were uh, in my mailbox in uh, just a few days. This, this brush is so heavy and so beautiful and that dark coloration on the end is uh, not another color it's the way the brushes are move this over just a little bit side. Even going to do some of it on the uh, on the yellow gray and see what happens. And on this yellow gray watercolor. Oh my goodness, I think I might hyperventilate. So, makeup brushes. Thank you, Mrs. Cobb. And I'll show you the largest one. Probably going to be vintage photo. Oh, 
all the way down to tiny, tiny, tinies. Alrighty, now the pen, the pen, the plane, the plane. Now, pens. Back to my Signo Uniball favorites. This is ultra micro. Nope. This is just micro. Yes. Now, if I wanted to do anything else to this page, I wouldn't use this, but I'm not going to. So. It will be easier for me. here on top of this I get very close and I'm going to pull in this lamp so that you can see and I'm going to bring it in Yes, I feel so at home. I think I'm going to combine more of this with junk journaling because it is so relaxing. Okay, this might not be completely dry yet, so... Signo Uniballs will write over anything. Now, there we go. Now, this little puppy.
those joints. And then go back to taking care of the outside of these uh, of these leaves. Yes, go up here. Sharpen up these uh, stems a little bit here. And a little darkness up here. A little in here emphasis in here. I'm going to put some modeling down on these stems because uh, they are a little too pristine looking. Just doing this and not on every bit of the outside of the leaf by adding depth to the edges, it makes the fact that they are uh, not just straight lines stand out a little bit. Let me put some modeling in this. This one is definitely needing some. Same thing here. going to do each one of these little I'm going to do each one of these a little bit and uh, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other two leaves on this one and I'll be back well, thank you so much for joining me today when I'm back to uh, art journaling in my joy of art journal I have had a fine remembrance of what I do love about art journaling. And of course, I uh, have to admit I added a little touch here and there of uh, my new world of uh, junk journaling and uh, had great fun doing it. So, if you have enjoyed sharing this experience with me, please consider giving me a thumbs up, and I would appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. Let's now have a bit closer, let's have a bit closer look. And there is the uh, hickory smoke around the edge of the page. And the watercolor flowers and leaves and a little sorry silk. And 
and that wonderful stenciled background using the uh, hickory smoke and the swatches of the watercolor used labeled it with the uh, paint name Schmenke and this bit ah, this was so much fun By now, 